I'm Ammon, and I'm lonely, and this is Toro Television. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Valentine's Day grams are on sale now in the bookstore for only $1. Get yours today for that special someone. Attention all current juniors who have to take an English class next year as a senior. I'm pretty sure that's all you juniors. Do you want to get college credit while earning high school credit next year? Then sign up for dual enrollment, English 101 and English 102 on your spring registration form this week. You can earn college English credit and never have to take another English class ever again. There's no entrance exam required. Talk with your counselor or English teacher this week if you have any questions. But hey, why not get college credit and English courses done as soon as possible? BSU, Black Student Union, is looking to begin activities to promote our culture and buy t-shirts, but in order to begin, we need funds. Barrows on Gilbert and Brown has given us the opportunity to raise their funds through their restaurant. If you mention BSU to them, a portion of the proceeds will go to our club. We appreciate you helping us expand our club. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be having their first meeting since after break and we would love to invite all of our fellow athletes slash Christ believers to come worship and pray together. We will be meeting on Friday, February 7th in room 824 during lunch. Come right after fourth period for some pizza and beverages and enjoy our guest speaker that day as well. Hope to see you there. In the United States, the month of February is observed as Black History Month or National African American History Month. And we use this month to remember the important contributions and achievements of African Americans throughout our nation's history. Today in Black History dot dot dot. After a long legal battle that included a Supreme Court ruling on her behalf, Atherine Lucy became the first African American to enroll at the University of Alabama. A mob of angry segregationists would cause uproar over her admittance, and the school would suspend Lucy on grounds that could not provide a safe environment for her. Here's a message from Mr. Milbrandt. Good morning, Toros. Greg Milbrandt, your principal. And Danielle Fuchs, your assistant principal of activities. And today we are announcing a special accomplishment by our performing arts students. Absolutely. So a couple of weeks ago, our students from orchestra, band, and choir, many of them auditioned for the regional ensembles, and we had an incredible showing of our students. So from orchestra, 14 students were selected to participate in the regional honor orchestra, 21 band students were selected to participate in the band ensemble, and 33 choir students were selected to participate in the honor choir. And that is in addition to nine other students being selected as alternative positions. So way to go, Toros, that's awesome. What a great accomplishment. And in addition to that, we had Julia Egbert as our first chair, which is quite an accomplishment. Congratulations, Julia. And also, Michaela Merrill was the highest scoring violinist in the entire region. So congratulations to those two on top of all the other accomplishments of all of these great students. Congratulations, you guys. We're very proud of you. We are raising the honor flag in your honor for this week. Great job, Toros. And now for the monthly show. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. 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 Let you, Let you travel, travel to places you've never been, 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 been and see things you've things never, you've never seen, seen, and do things you've, you've never done, 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 done without ever leaving the room. in VR goes compared to regular games you really feel like you're actually there because you can see your hands you can move around and obviously the 3d aspect and like actually wearing the headset and being able to move your head around really just immerses you into everything and make you feel like you're really there yeah I make worlds in there uh, in VR chat I've made over 50 worlds and they're pretty popular so <laughs> people must like them I try to make an avatar and I sucked at it, and it just turned out Worlds was easier. <laughs> but I also thought it was cool to bring something in and then walk around, so I didn't really care if the world was good or bad. I just liked looking at something that I put in and walking around in it, so... Normally I'll go on the Pinterest, and I'll look up, like, apartment ideas, and I'll choose, like, a single or maybe a few images as inspiration. I try to go for a realistic style. Uh, I want something more warm, 
some way where people can feel like it's an extension of the real world instead of you going into some fantasy land. What is love? That is a good question. What is love? Well, I can say what love isn't. Love isn't a chocolate heart or a bouquet of flowers. Love isn't a cheesy card from Walmart or even a basket of fruit. With Valentine's Day on the horizon, many teens wrongly associate being happy on Valentine's Day with receiving a gift and or affection, when in fact it's quite the opposite. Everybody has friends that cherish them and their company, or even family members that love them as who they are instead of what they are perceived to be at high school. So go into Valentine's Day with this mindset. To discuss more on this topic, we brought in our school social worker, Mrs. Kosh. As hard as it is, first of all, don't get wrapped up in two day, in one day, it's just a date. Do not let that date make you go back to an unhealthy situation. If you wouldn't go back on the 13th or the 15th, there's no reason to go back on the 14th. Give yourself permission to skip anything that doesn't feel right for you. So if celebrating Valentine's Day doesn't feel like the right choice for you, go ahead and skip it. No one's going to come and get mad at you for that. Um, if that's not a good option for you, focus on the relationships you do have that are making you happy. Um, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be about celebrating a romantic love. If you have friends in your life who you love, or pets, or parents, or siblings, um, anyone you, who brings you joy in your life and who you feel is contributing to your life and making you healthier, making you a better person, it's always a good opportunity to celebrate that and celebrate that person. Um, Today we search far and wide all across Mountain View campus to find answers to these daring questions. Who will survive? Not me. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I wouldn't say it's a sandwich. It's a piece of meat between two buns, yes. A sandwich consists of two slices of bread and stuff in the middle. But a bun is just one piece of bread. Yes. Why? No. Because the buns. Interesting. Does Mike Wazowski wink or blink? Blink. He blinks. Because he has one eye. Because blinking involves closing all of your... Wink. Viewing things. Blink. You mean yeah. eyes when you close one eye? Isn't that winking? <laughs> Does Lightning McQueen have car insurance or life insurance? Both. Life insurance. Um, I'm pretty sure it's life insurance. Because he's alive. <laughs> They're actually not insured. They live on the edge. Radical. Is cereal a soup? It doesn't meet the definition, no. What is the definition of soup? No, it is not a soup. Yes. Soup is normally warmed up in a pot. Cons you don't eat your cereal warm? Why? Because it has chicken. I take milk straight out of the fridge and just pour it in, or, uh, in the bowl and... You pour your milk before your cereal? <laughs> Why is it called a hamburger if there's no ham? I thought it did have ham. It's beef. Then it probably came from Hamburg, a city in Germany that's named Hamburg. There is ham. I don't know. I don't know. Why is it called a hamburger if there's no ham? I'll be asking the questions here. <laughs> If you see two slices of bread on top of something. That's called a sandwich. Okay. True. You stated that earlier. Yes, I... I <laughs> Impossible questions with me. <coughs> long one today. Very long one.